What's up boys, today we're going to be doing a player review on foot birthday, Lucas Torreira. Honestly, this card right off the rip reminds me of Conte in game. He is 5'5", five, five. he is an inch shorter than Conte, and Conte is already very, very small. But this guy, you could just visibly tell in game, he is, he's tidy. You, you, you obviously, there's certain players on the pitch where they just blend in with everyone else. This guy stands out, he stands out, and he also is very, very solid. He's got medium high work rates, which I think are one of the best I think the actually the best work rates for defensive midfielders, and that's definitely what he is. Very solid player. He's also he has the five star skills boost. Honestly, wish I don't know if I wish it was a weak foot boost, but the five star skill boost actually helps a lot in game because his dribbling stats are pretty good to begin with, and then having the five star skills just allows him to break the press a lot easier. I did a lot of bourbon spins, a lot of first time fake shots just to try and get 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 out of my own half and then launch the attack. He was very good at that. Also very good with launching through balls over the top, both to my central players, my cams and my strikers, and then my my left mids, right mids, or right cams and left cams, depending on what formation you play. There, there is really only one position for this guy and it's it's holding midfielder. I don't think you want to play him in a box to box. I think you can play him in a box to box. His passing is good enough. The shooting's just not great. You don't really want to shoot with him that much, but can definitely facilitate on the offensive end of the pitch. I, I packed this guy, but I think he goes for about 20-ish, 25K, 30K, something like that. A lot of these foot birthday cards are around that price, uh, and I think they're absolutely incredible deals. If you're running a Serie side, this is a perfect card. Not a lot of strong links. To oh, yeah! So maybe if you want to link him up with that that Luis Suarez soft link, some try to do some crazy Ur Uruguayan links, that'd be really good. And let's take a look at the in-game stats, boys. Looking at the pace, I think basic is just right off the rip. I think basic is a good camp style for him because of what it does to his pace. He already has 86 acceleration and he feels very, very fast because of that acceleration and his sprint speed is 82, but the, the sprint speed is gets a plus five boost all the way up to 87. And honestly, it, it works very, very well combined with the 86 acceleration shooting stats aren't the best. We're not going to spend a lot of time on it, but one thing that does stand out is the 87 shot power and that does get boosted with the with the basic chem style. He's got good long shots as well. So maybe this is going to be one of those cards where if you just, if at the time's right and you let one rip and you green it, it's going to be, it might go in. It honestly might. But very good passing stats from the, from the lad, from the Uruguayan. 89 short passing is incredible for holding midfielders. Holding midfielders, I think passing is incredibly important, especially with the way passing is coded in this game. Passing and just passes just get intercepted so easily this year that if you don't have a player with good passing, especially someone that's going to be on the ball a lot, winning the ball and then facilitating it out to your attacking players, if it doesn't have good passing, it's going to be a long, long day. It's going to be a lot of broken controllers and a lot of rage for you. Long passing is definitely good enough at 83. It was playing so many through balls and they were really good. Um, honestly, it all depends on the timing of the run, I feel like, as much as the passing, but still very, very solid. He was able to execute. And big thing with this card is... Just look at the dribbling stats, boys. This it stands out. It's obviously the, the big things that stand out. Your eyes go 87 shot power, 96 agility, 98 balance, and then the and then the, the defending stats. But looking at the dribbling stats, it's just insane, dude. He's so small, so agile, so great balance, and he's five star skills. So he feels insane. He feels so good. I honestly think he might be the shortest player I've used. I, I think Insigne is also like five six, five five or or is Insigne like tall? I don't know. Or is Insigne 5'8"? I don't even know, bro. But 5'5 five, five with those stats makes him feel so good. He's so much fun in games. You can literally just, you can just lag your left stick, spin him in a circle a little, and it's so much fun. Do like, do elasticos, reverse elasticos, all sorts, croquetas, everything. It's so much fun. But taking a look at the at the defending stats, his heading accuracy is, is obviously terrible because this man is not going to be heading the ball. So I think you might want to pair him up with... A tall midfielder. I was playing him alongside Team of the Year Conte, but it, I didn't have an issue with it. I'm just saying I feel like problems could arise if you're going against a crossing merchant with like Hullet or Ronaldo or something like that, that you might want to have a midfielder that's a bit taller, maybe not a pairing of 5'6 and 5'5 because things can get dangerous there. Standing tackle is 90, gets a plus 5 with a basic. Defensive awareness gets a plus 5 with a basic. Uh, basic looks, it looks very good on, hit, on him. The only annoying thing is it does boost his jumping and the jumping is doesn't need any, it just doesn't need to be touched because he's not going to be doing anything in the air. Um, very good stamina. He honestly didn't get tired a lot. I was manually controlling him a fair amount just to try and get interceptions. He was on the ball a lot just so I could feel it, feel him out, try, see how 
responsive he was and he was definitely very responsive so he didn't really lose that much stamina so that's that's very very good sign strength is a bit low but does get a plus plus five so it's up to 81 and that's very good but i think it's balanced out with the high aggression the 95 aggression makes him win the ball he felt like conte in the fact where he was small but he was still he was still strong conte i think would definitely be stronger than him just because obviously it's conte but i think i i was using the team of the year and the team of the year is just insane but i think if you're talking gold conte this card is equally as strong if not stronger just because the high aggression and aggression when you go into a tackle you spam l2 you spam shield it really helps really just helps your players win the ball and and keep the ball when you're going against big, uh, players that have a height advantage everyone that he, this guy comes against is going to have a height advantage the only concern I, I have is if he's going against someone like tommy abraham or something who is a foot taller than him at 6 5 and he is 5 5 so that could be an issue. He has no player traits to speak of, which is pretty annoying. I wish he had at least some player traits, like maybe a technical dribbler. I was feeling that just because the high dribbling stats. But I think this card is definitely the price it is because of the league nation combination. That sounds so weird. But how many strong links are you going to be able to get with Fiorentina? And how many strong links are you going to be able to get with Uruguayan Serie A players? Not many if any at all I, I don't think so the only strong link you're gonna be able to get really is Di Natale hero card Cordoba hero card and that still is a lot not a lot of people are rocking those cards because a lot of people don't really want to rock Serie A sides even though both those cards are still pretty good I think Cordoba is a very good center back but I, I had a lot of fun playing with this card I think you guys should try them out there are player picks today so I think this guy will be likely to come out of those picks if it if you are to get a future star it, it, or not a future star a foot birthday I keep saying future star but this guy is likely to come out of that because he is one of the cheaper ones. There is a fair amount of cheap uh, options, but being 87, being the league and, and nation mix that he is, I think he's likely to come out of those picks. And if you do get him, chuck him on your bench, come bring him in the second half, or if you just want to start him, play him in foot champs qualifications. I was just playing in rivals, playing in a uh, div one, trying to get enough points to qualify for a weekend league and then go into weekend league qualification. And he's doing a great job, an absolute insane job. So that's really going to do it, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe.